Hello everyone, Lindsay McCowan here. So today's video is going to be on how to set up for Yoga Nidra. And so the important thing with Yoga Nidra is we want to be super comfortable because if we're not comfortable, we're not going to be able to drop deeply inward and to relax in a way which will really enable us to experience the richness of the practice. So as you can see, I have long sleeves on, I have long pants on, I have my warm and fuzzy socks on because it's important to be warm. If you're not warm, you're not gonna be comfortable. And note that these practices tend to be anywhere from 15 to even upwards of 45 minutes long. So when we're in that length of a practice not moving, the body is gonna cool. So be war put more on than you think you'll need, okay? And then the second thing you'll notice here is that I have a blanket on the floor. I have carpet down right now, but if you don't have carpet, it's super important that you have a blanket or several underneath you so that when you have your legs wide and your arms wide, your arms are not on something that's cool because that will drain heat from the body. And then I also have these nice faux fur, and you don't have to have this, but I have these nice faux fur skins, and I'm gonna emphasize faux fur, because it's nice and extra soft and it even um, helps me uh, stay warm. Okay, the next thing is, is that I have a pillow here. I use a cervical pillow. You don't have to use this. You can use a blanket or a regular pillow, something to, for some padding underneath your head so that the head doesn't get sore or um, the, the chin is not too high or too uh, close to the chest. And then I also have an eye pillow, okay? So you can put um, something lightweight like a towel or a scarf over your eyes, but if you have an eye pillow, you can use that as well. But notice that this is concave here so that there's no pressure on the eyes. You don't want to use a heavy weighted pillow that's not good to have on the eyes for an extended period of time. Okay, next thing is you're gonna come onto your back and you're gonna get super comfortable on your back. And when you come down, you're gonna to wanna to notice if there's any discomfort in your low back. If so, you can take a roll, another yoga mat or a blanket rolled up, put it underneath your knees. That will support the, the low lumbar spine. Or if you need a little bit more, you can even use a bolster underneath your legs. It's not, this one's not my preference, but for some it feels really good. And then lastly, it might be last, I'm not sure, but <laughs> near to last, you could take your blanket and place one or two on top of you. Again, you want to be warm and you're gonna need more than you think you do. And then oftentimes I'll take another blanket and place it just across my belly to have a little bit of weight here. It feels really nice to have a, this almost like a weighted blanket on you for this practice. And then you'll take your eye pillow, you'll put that on or a lightweight scarf. My feet are wider than my hips. My arms are wider than my shoulders. I'm taking up a lot of space, as much as space that feels good to me. And then you close your eyes and you take a deep breath in and then you'll start the practice, okay? So I hope that was helpful. I'll just recap real quick. So warmth, a lot of layers of clothing blankets underneath you, blankets on top of you, a cervical pillow or a regular pillow to support the neck, um, maybe something underneath your knees to support the low back. And the idea is just to build a nest and it's not too much. Some people put even more padding than I have here and get really propped up. If you're pregnant, you can do this on your side. If you have issues getting to the floor, you can do this on your couch. Just make sure that it's still a firm surface so that you're not sinking down into um, the couch or and don't practice on your bed. And we can go into that in a future uh, video. So if this is helpful and you're interested, go to the practices that I have for Yoga Nidra and experience the practice for yourself. If you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment section below hit subscribe because I'll be putting more and more videos out and you'll want to be the first to see those coming. Okay, many blessings, my friend, and until next time, namaste.